and blessings to everybody out there that this will be this message will bless um today i'm talking about a particular type of doctrine not a doctrine in the say a particular one but there is always a game in my country and all that it's called chinese phone tag the way it goes is you whisper something into one person's ear and then that person whispers it into another person's ear well you do this 12 different times or whatever and the original phrase like i like cats ends up pizza is completely crazy and so that's kind of what it is it gets mistranslated over and over again and this is kind of something i've seen in the church where we've had a doctrine that's been manipulated and changed so long for so many years and i'm not talking about just years i'm talking about decades i'm not talking about just decades i'm talking about centuries i'm not talking about just centuries i'm talking about thousands of years okay because since the time of christ you gotta remember that even the disciples were confused about the coming of christ thinking he's coming back they didn't realize he had to die you know they didn't have it a hundred percent themselves even and so now you got a two thousand years and you've been going through the word of mouth uh, of what this scripture is supposed to mean and all that and it's changed from what its original meaning is a lot of times just because well that's what was said about it that is what's said about it in jeremiah six sixteen. Thus saith the Lord, stand in the way and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? You know, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they say we will not walk it therein. All right. So one thing is, is we got to seek back to the old paths, back to God. You know, we've had this traditions of men that have been passed down from centuries to centuries and over time you know let's face it things start changing over time you know you start saying something to somebody else and the next thing you know they're trying to repeat the same story and it's like totally a little just a bit different than what you were trying to tell them originally you know and just imagine that how it is when it comes to the doctrines of god all right and matthew 15 2 through 3 and this is the Pharisee saying this to Jesus. Why do thy disciples transgress uh, the traditions of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. And Jesus kind of replies. But he answered and said unto them, Why do you transgress the commandments of God by your traditions? You know, the tradition of what someone has said over the years has kind of taken root a lot of times. You know, in uh, 2 Kings 22, if you read the chapter, you find out they actually lost the word of God. That they actually found the book of the law of God in the house of God after repairing the house of God. So what then does that say? We got to repair our life. We got to repair our relationship with Christ to get the better understanding. To do so, we're also seeking the old path. We're seeking back to the very foundation of, where it was laid because let's face it we've had so many doctrines and this is why i believe the church has been split into so many factions because you have people this phone tag doctrine if you want to say it that get translated somehow differently yet somehow it's very similar but different and either that or someone's just changing the doctrine or changing how the word is supposed to be perceived you know they're changing the way the word is supposed to be perceived but it's not really that way and the best example of this and it doesn't matter what doctrine you're talking about what church i think this is kind of true for most churches when you look at hosea chapter 2 most people think oh that's about gomer being unfaithful to Hosea and you be completely wrong and most of the church is wrong on this act topic actually 
And I just got to clarify here, if you look at Romans 9, 25 through 26, this is um, Paul talking about Hosea. And as he said also in Hosea, well, it's O-C in the German, or not the German, uh, my mistake, in the Greek, but it's actually Hosea. I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said of them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. All right, so this is like at the very end of chapter 1 of Hosea, leading into chapter 2. Chapter 2 is God's continuing to talk. And the unfaithful person in this, uh, in chapter 2, is actually Israel. It's not Gomer. Nowhere in the Bible does it talk about Gomer being unfaithful to Hosea. It's God talking about Israel being unfaithful to her and how he's going to redeem Israel. All right? And this is a prophecy in a sense. Because God's going to have to redeem Israel, isn't he? He's going to have to bring them through the trials of fire to turn back Israel onto the living God. And this is kind of the thing here is... We have gotten so much of the scriptures wrong. I mean, you think about most of the church believes, oh, Gomer was the one being unfaithful in that chapter. No, it's actually Israel being the one that's unfaithful in that chapter. And now you see how, like, throughout the centuries, that has been changed from the original meaning. And so now you see it's just exactly what I'm talking about, this phone tag doctrine, the traditions of men. It's the tradition that's applied to this chapter, you know. And then you got to ask yourself, what other parts of the Bible have traditions been pushed onto certain scriptures that have changed what the true understanding of the scriptures are? And that's why we got to get back to the old past, to the old foundations, back to getting rooted on God. Not by our traditions do we hold to God, but many times people are breaking what they consider to be God, but breaking God by their traditions. And their false doctrines that have crept in one way or another. You know, that's why we got so many divisions. You know, you tell three people the same story, they're all going to be changing a little bit over here and here, you know? And imagine how that is with it when it comes to the understanding of the Bible. One person says it this way, one person says it that way, and then now you got a whole bunch of confusion. That's why you got to go back to the old path. You got to seek back to the truth of the Word of God and get His understanding of what the true meaning behind that scripture is, so that you are not led to be deceived in the end times when the end comes. And I pray this would be a blessing. And Lord, I pray that you would open the eyes and the ears of people to hear the truth of your scripture and the truth of your word and to understand where your spirit is leading us all, Lord. And I pray for the healing of the nations and the balm of healing, Lord, to be placed upon the brokenhearted and the wounds, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Let your spirit just pour out upon the needy, Lord, and the desperate that needs your word, Lord. Let it be poured out in a mighty, powerful way. In Jesus' name, amen.